Alvarez Mega Man, this matchup. Smash 3. Oh, this matchup's gonna be gross, dude. If you don't know, in Smash 3, Dill played Rob. <laughs> he was uh, allegedly top two, and apparently this was a point of debate. But all we need to care about is that he was nice. And we're hoping that his Rob is nice since he's got to fight off against King Arc's Mega Man. And I can tell you from experience in the past that both of these characters can just combo each other like, for nothing. Yeah, like, and man, I have to say, Rob in this game, I, I know I know he has he still has bad disadvantage, but they made his advantage so much better. Like, he has all these different combos, uh, side B kills now at, at the ledge, off stage, still reflects. Like, they made it so that if you made the poor decision of playing this character, that you at least had some good tools to yeah, use. Yeah, you have, you have some tools now. This, this character's kind of wild. Um, yeah, but right now, in pretty much an even game, um, no slots is King Arc. He also, he's another one who's been playing Mega Man since Smash 4. And uh, Mega Man's pretty, pretty good in this game still. So... Like, they've increased the distance on uh, on the pellets, which I feel is huge for how well he can uh, assert control of the stage. Wow, and he, call, he called out the Metal Blade Toss with the back air just went right over his head. Ooh, okay. Yeah, parry up smash. Yeah, Dill's been throwing out these down tilts, and uh, King Ark, about, you know, it's about time that he called out one of those, and he tried to spot that jump too. Spot that jump tilt is like classic for Mega Man players. Yeah, and the thing about up tilt in this game, wow. Yeah, think about up tilt in this game. If you do up tilt below a platform, you will land on top of the platform. Yeah, that used to be a feature that, as far as Smash 4 is concerned, was exclusive to um, Lilac Cruz, which made it a very good choice for Mega Man. But now he could just do that across any of the league stages. I didn't even know you could do that on Lilac. But, um, yeah, right now, you know, even game, you know, King Ark taking that stock with that Metal Blade to combo. Yeah, a lot. The way that these two characters, like, play their game is very similar, like at its core. Like they both have an item that has a good, lot, a good amount of versatility. They both push towards the ledge very well. They both control the ledge very well. And even though they're zoning characters, they can afford to get aggressive because they have consistent combo games. Yeah, and um, the thing about it is, Rob has like these down throw setups, which are like kind of fake, kind of real setups where he burrows you into the ground and he has to read your option. Now, if he reads one of your options, you could die. <laughs> but uh, then he has setups like that. The top just sets up for such cool play at the ledge. Like, nothing about that was real. It was just the fact that Dill was ready to react to King Arc air dodging onto the stage. And he's seen King Arc do that multiple times already. But now it's like he's really popping off on him for doing that. Yeah, and he's just reading He's just reading everything right now. Dill is going off. Wow, and that B, and that B reverse with the, with the down B? Kind of crazy. That was the kind of stuff that we hardly ever got a chance to see from uh, Smash 4 Robs, so I'm really hoping that that movement option finds its way into Rob's kit here, because Dill, Dill's looking nice with this Rob. Oh yeah, Rob, yeah, Rob is good, and especially if you have that legacy experience with Rob, you know, something you could kind of step right into and feel slightly at home, maybe not completely because there are different games, but... Yeah, and the way Dill's landing um, with the top, it's like pretty impressive. Uh, because King Ark hasn't been getting a lot off of putting Rob in the air that you would think. That was so smart! Oh, that air dodge back to the ledge, he went so far. He knew because he was stuck with a Crash Bomber, he could afford to go for a risky option because he would just get popped up. He knows that that's not going to be killing him. Okay, let's see how he follows it up. Okay, went for the back air, respectfully. Speaking oh. of back air, I feel like we haven't seen back air from Dill a lot in this uh, game, aside from the first stock thing, so... Maybe it'll come around to end out the game. Ooh, and he, ooh, and he air dives away from that explosion. Yeah, I mean, speaking of grabs, one more grab by Robin. He's dead. Yeah, up throw, you're dead. And boom. Oh, and <laughs> he just flies flew, up. Flew away into the sky. That's low key worse than the taunt. Yeah, that's actually he's, like he's flying away. His his robot colony needs him. Terrible. Also, like his wind poses, like, he literally flexes on you. He like beating his chest is like really weird. Why is it? Why is a uh... <laughs> Donkey Kong lost his uh, exoskeleton and it's just Rob from inside? It's like you melted all of Donkey Kong's skin off and it was just actually Rob the whole time. <laughs> it was it was the toy that Nintendo made. He, he was always an exoskeleton for Donkey Kong. Yeah, every time he like punches, you can't hear him, but he's like DK. 
It's terrifying. That that sounds horrifying. Don't give is Rob it, a banana. Is this the lore? <laughs> he the lore basically goes has deep. a banana. Dude, imagine. He basically has a banana. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, imagine like the the Rob K. Rule matchup. Oh no. It's just like, because like Donkey Kong's like Terminator, his skin melts off, he's like, she's not to get you. It's just like, oh my god, <laughs> run, K. Rule, run! K. Rule, I want to see K. Rule in stream. I haven't seen K. Rule at all. Yeah, that character just died out. Like, after the first couple of weeks, no one wants to play. Yeah, this character's bad. <laughs> but, uh, he, he was a fun bad character, though. I don't know why that character's fun, but I'm gonna go into this game on FD. I feel like this is this is one of those kind of zoning stages that you would expect a Mega Man to go to, and with good purpose. He's able to combo cross it really well. He's able to control the ledge really well. But I feel like the biggest factor is just taking platforms away from Dill because of how well he's able to start dominance on the platforms. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like it work out. It could work out on both ends because both these characters struggle to land. Um, they don't have really good landing buttons. Like Rob has that nair, but as you saw. That can be stuffed out by a pretty good disjoint of an area. I'm trying to read the jump option with a forward smash. Yeah, that, nair, that nair is so big, it just... It, it kind of just destroys the leaf skills completely. Yeah, it's actually really important because it's not even just the fact that it has substantial knockback or that it deals decent damage. Just the fact that it's big enough to contest Leaf Shield means that one of the main ways that King Art can move from the air to the ground is completely shut down. And that, that air dodge distance on Rob is kind of wild. I, you know, you kind of wouldn't expect that from a character like Rob. Yeah, I, I like how I like how Dill is just getting out of there. He's not really overextending too much. Um, because when you overextend, you can like lend yourself to being punished really hard, and um, Dill has been doing good, keeping good, just keeping advantage. I'm surprised King Arc's not trying to use the top against Dill. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you don't want to mess with it, because you get too caught up into it, you just get bodied, and then he just read his little reports, man. <laughs> Alright, word. Double bleed in hand. King Arc has a lead for the first time in the set, although... I don't know for how long, especially if he's going to continuously eat these aerials from Dill. Yeah, but I mean, he's playing a good keep away game, and the Leaf Blade is lending him a lot of utility. Even though Dill did beat it out with that Nair that one time, that's not stopping King Ark from using that utility that he has. I think the fact that King Ark is keeping a lot of his pressure, like, high paced, is what's making it so effective. Oh, and that, and that interaction was strange. So, um, you know, because you know how you get two framed, um, your air dash to the ledge can still get two framed. And the top just looked like it clipped King Ark and sent back on the stage. Got him out of there, and without a lot of percentage built up. So, for the most part, this is even, especially if Dill can find himself on the ground. But, it, uh, it just seems like King Ark has the emo emotional advantage right now. I don't know. Yeah, but, he's running with it. He wants it, man. Yeah. Very good counter pick by uh, King Ark, because Dill is really struggling to land um, on the stage. Ooh! Hey, what's going on back here? Oh, and the Pell's just eating up that blade. There we yeah. go. Alright, I feel like another aspect of this match is just, it's a very strange match in itself. I feel like both of these players figuring out the uh, intricacies of it as we go. Because the way that King Ark is covering the ledge has changed since game one. And even since the beginning of this game, too. Yeah, this King Ark is, I feel like King Ark is getting a little bit more comfortable in trying to track him down Rob's landing options and options in general are neutral. And um, whenever he's off stage, you know, King Ark is pushing it as far as he can. Yeah, he's doing a good job of evening things back up, and he's got a pretty convincing uh, lead here. That should be it. Oh, okay. Just goes yeah. for the up tilt. Yeah, you have to do the, you have to do the up tilt to up air to, to try to make the read it difficult to go for the raw up smash. You can still go punch. Do this. Yeah, Bill just struggling to get this kill right now. King Ark at 169 percent. And that percentage is only crawling. And he with. just got sniped with the. He just got. And he died. What? Okay. What? That was a whack ending for that game. I don't care. That was a really good game until the end. I feel like every time I commentated Dill said, he dies terribly at some point throughout the throughout the tournament. 
Every single time. It's like only me. Every time I see him. It, excuse me? Look at that. It's flu. Like, I, I, I think I know why that happened. I think he tried to retreat. Um, got probably hit in his, with a backer by his retreat. But man. Man. <laughs> I mean, it's good stuff by King Arc, though. Just keeping the pressure on Dill at the ledge. Not letting him breathe. Game 3 is going to find ourselves back on Battlefield. And, you know, on paper, it, it's, it should be an even field for them to fight on. Like, Mega Man makes really good use of this stage. But I feel like it's just the style that Dill wants to control the, the platforms. Worked out so well for him in Game 1. I'm interested to see if any adaptations that uh, King Ark has made to this point is going to help him take advantage of the stage on equal measures. Yeah, because um, King Ark definitely likes the stage. Uh, Mega Man's in general kind of like the stage. because so them more, Yeah, it gives him more landing options because it can't land. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I understand the comfort pick by Dill. He did win on the stage Game 1. Like, another thing that is just, like, both of these characters have a lot of tools for... Uh, juggling off the platforms. Like for Mega Man, he has the uh, the air shooter, he's up air for just constantly pressing upwards. And then we've seen multiple times up air sharking from Dill, proving to be quite useful. But in case that's not what he wants to go for, he has neutral air, which is massive as we've already seen. Oh yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, as, as we can see, it's just like Dill is having, is just controlling King Ark from below. And did, did you say that? What? Uh, it's a good grab. Excuse me? That's a good grab. Okay, went for the down throw. Opposite off for the down throw instead of the back throw for safe position. You know, got a decent punish off of it. Got the up tilt. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> yeah and, this is, and this is why he doesn't try to pick up the metal board. In the solid board. Like, <laughs> the top, you gotta hit it first. You, you gotta you gotta offset it. it it's, a, it's a very strange item to interact with. I, I don't blame King Ark for uh, getting hit, hit a few times, but it's like... Definitely not messing with it. it. It's one of those things where it's like you get a lot from taking it away from Rob, so it's worth trying. Oh, and he got sniped again, but this time with the laser. The laser didn't care about anything that King Ark was doing. Oh, and good tech and air dodge back onto the safe by Dill. Immediately taking control. I feel like the most important part of this is just like whatever percentage that Dill can get. Oh, look at that. Hit, hit it, grab the gyro, keeping it away. All right. Using Leaf, Bla uh, leaf Shield now, see what he can do. Okay. This has been a very strange start to the second stock over here. King Ark seems to have total control, even though it's been it's been a very scrappy beginning to do it. Yeah, um, just like, you know, just like you said earlier, this is pretty much a comfort pick for Dill. But this stage can benefit Mega Man the same way it can benefit Rob. They both play off platforms well, they both play shark platforms well, and King Ark is using that to his advantage. You know, I never realized it before this set, but Mega Man and Rob are incredibly similar. Oh yeah, they definitely are. Like, the fact that they're robots aside, like, their entire game plan mirrors each other. Like, even down to the fact that they both have really strange items. Oh my god, okay, yeah, air dodge upwards. Get stuff like they're just retreating, you know, giving King Ark some space, but King Ark is just taking as much space as he wants. You see that? <laughs> Trying to box around center stage. King Ark is staying very mobile right now. Oh, and the, the saw blade covered his roll. Look at the hey. projectile play oh, from both of these guys. What, so. What the hell? Okay. Oh no, he air dodged. What just happened? So he dare? Was that dare on shield safe? That so, looked mighty safe. It's. It might be. I don't know, man. All I know is that that was a really strange connection of interactions. It ended up with King Ark taking the stock, although he ended up air dodging, crossing his own. It leaves us in the last stock situation. Pressure's on for both of these guys, and this is losers, uh, losers bracket. This is at the end of pools. There is no second chances after this one. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate because I think uh, what happened was he was expecting to get the trade and have to take onto stage, but none of that happened at all. Okay. Look at how much damage he gets out of Leaf Shield. Wow, that, the, those down tilts are kind of crazy. He's just doing down tilt just to check what he's looking at. Oh, that down smash didn't hit. No! Whoa! Big boy Rob! Mega 
Big Boy Rob got Big Boy robbed. Let's see. What, I want to see. What so it seemed like he he di'd the back air well. Yeah, he jumped. He jumped. Why would jumping? Because he's just Rob. He's big. He has a different. Uh, it's like. Yeah.